Hello everyone, this is Firefly404, and in particular, hello, Michael J. Crawford. This will be a response to Rational Roundtable video RR2.04 DPR Jones equals Thought Police, which I've been meaning to address for quite a while, but have been delayed by other matters. Before I, before I begin, I want to make one thing perfectly clear, although it should be obvious. I do not know the full degree of DPR Jones' dislike for religion. Any opinion I give here on DPR Jones is based on my own impressions from watching his videos and from other sources such as Blog TV. I probably didn't need to elaborate on that, but I wanted it clear from the start. To that end, Michael, I do agree with most of your stronger points against DPR Jones' video. For instance, using the child to make a statement is hypocritical, and I also disagree with the title of the video directly equating religion and pedophilia, both mostly for the same reasons you give. However, that aside, I do have a couple of issues with your video, and one overall point I'd like to make. <clears throat> As the points I'd like to make, make are interrelated, I will quote from your video up front so that I may refer to them together. And please, if you feel I've misrepresented your arguments, do let me know. For anyone else, I would encourage you to watch Michael's video in full, and indeed do subscribe to him. His arguments even make me think, or always make me think, even if I don't always agree with him. So, Michael, in your video, the first issue I have is at about 3 minutes and 8 seconds when you state, It is clear that DPR Jones does indeed have a very straightforward message he is trying to convey. This is simply, parents should not have the right to educate their children in a manner consistent with their beliefs if their beliefs happen to be Christian. My second issue is at 8 minutes and 43 seconds. I know that some of you are thinking that this video, DPR Jones's video, is not about all Christians, rather about extreme fundamentalists. So what is my problem? My problem is the video makes no such distinction. For a bit of further reference, from DPR Jones's video, in response to the priest's question about the parents' right to raise their children in their faith. At 1 minute 9 seconds, DPR Jones, and here it does appear to be G DPR Jones's own words, writes, Are you not forgetting one thing? The rights of a child not to be indoctrinated with poisonous nonsense. A second bit of further reference, and this came quite a bit after you posted your video, however I still feel it is relevant. I also noticed your comment in Dark Matter 2525's video, Fratricide, where you appear to agree with the points he raised about the need for brevity. Again, not being DPR Jones, I cannot speak with certainty, but I believe you were at least partially mistaken in both quotes. The claim you make about the video being about Christians is particularly egregious. While the specific example highlighted is Christianity, the message is intended for all religions. You do allude to other religions at other points in your video, but your primary focus, in both your quotes above, is Christianity. This may be a case where you're using Christianity to simplify, as in, the, as in Dark Matter 2525's video, but given your quotes, that does not appear to me to be the case. In a similar vein, it is obvious to me that the video is aimed primarily at fundamentalists, again, regardless of religion. And to avoid over-elaboration did not make the distinction as clear as perhaps it should have been. Now, again, I am far from certain of the full disregard DPR Jones has for religion. I will acknowledge it's likely greater than my own. With that said, and relating back to my last issue, this may not have been your intent, but appeared to me to be a special plea on your part to mention Christianity, and then to discount that it may have been addressed at least primarily at fundamentalism. However, even with both that said, both of those points made, I still think that is besides the point of the video. Per DPR Jones's quote, and my knowledge of Dawkins' video, which I'll try to link below, I know DPR Jones said he was trying to do it, but I think I found a link that should work. The point is not if parents have the right to raise their children in their faith, or indeed generally as they see fit. The primary question being asked is, where do those rights end, and where do the rights of the child to be their own self-thinking individual begin? 
partially answering the question you know, at various points in your video, state that the priest being interviewed most likely would not support the use of the child in the manner predicted, or in the manner shown. Nor would that priest support many other sorts of fundamentalism from any religion. However, you further elaborate that based on U.S. laws, which you also speculate as to DPR Jones's knowledge of them, and based on my experience, he is quite knowledgeable about U.S. laws. You say that if no laws are being bro broken, then it should be allowed. There are laws, however, against psychological abuse. From your comments in your video, it is clear to is clear to me that both you and I agree to our own individual values that this child is being mistreated. And in my opinion, which I will fully admit is not medical, this is not supposed to be a diagnosis, it is psychologically so. Why then, because of its religious nature, does this get a pass? I also want to stress, I personally do not know where the dividing line is between a child's and a parent's rights are. My own personal opinion, and that's all I have to go on, is that a parent has a duty to raise their child to be their own person, to be able to form their own ideas about the world. This will obviously be influenced to a great extent by the parent's own beliefs. It's impossible for that not to happen. But where the line gets crossed between forcing beliefs and educating beliefs is not clear. Also, I want to be clear that this is not strictly the realm of religion, although it is perhaps the most obvious example to use. I am personally against any form of upbringing that would intentionally prevent a child from being able to form their own opinions. A minor example I can think of that does not involve religions would be something like, say, educating a child to, or forcing a child to think that anyone who's raised outside of their own country or outside their own community is evil and deserves to be hated, for example. Anyway, thank you for your time, and all opinions and feedback are greatly appreciated. Have a nice day.